It's Tuesday morning, it's my first day of my week off work so I thought what better day to start my long run Do apologise over the traffic noise I'll catch up with you all and have a chat when I get onto the country lanes and out of this traffic So talk soon I'm just having a two minute breather because as you can see it's all uphill from here so I thought I'd just let you know what equipment I use for my runs for running shoes I use uh, Under Armour Charge Bandage Fives which I absolutely love this is my second pair of Under Armours I had the Bandage 4 from the previous marathon but with the way I run I don't get more than a year out of a pair of running shoes because all my pressure goes on the inside of my foot and it wears them out really fast so I'll probably get just under 300 miles out of a pair that's why I use the Under Armours because they're a reasonable price for the amount of wear that I'm going to get out of them. The running top I'm wearing, I've got my charity running shirt from Western Park Cancer Charity. As you know, that's who I'm running for. My GPS watch is a first generation Garmin Vivo Active, which is really old. It's held together by a safety pin cut straps broke but once I've found a new strap for it that'll be replaced because I absolutely love this watch for videoing for the moment I'm talking to you all on a Canon G7X Mark II and I either use that or my iPhone 10, iPhone X, call it what you want Normally this road's really quiet and for some reason today it's really busy. I do all my editing on an iPad using the app Luma Fusion, which is not a free app but I think it's absolutely amazing. So for now I'll leave it here. I've got to start and get a few more miles done. I'll chat with you all in a bit. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay with the traffic and wind noise and I'll film some of the views I've got while I'm on this run. And this is the reason I love doing this view for roads and views like this. You've got to love being this close to the countryside. I've done about five and three quarter miles from home and these are the views that I get it's absolutely outstanding I'm just 6.7 miles in it's just a quick stop to show you this view because I think I've got to as it is absolutely beautiful so this is the view that I've got under seven miles from where I live give you a bit of a zoom in so you can see it a bit better it's absolutely outstanding here I've just passed Fox House just heading up this ridiculously steep hill so I thought well I'm having to walk this section because it is just way too steep for me to run yeah, the state of fitness I'm in at the moment I want to tell you why I'm doing all this lot because I know there's people that have said I'm mad in the past but the reason I'm doing it is one to raise money for my chosen charity as you're aware and two I'm 47 and call it a midlife crisis if you want I'm wanting to see 
what I can do to my body, how far I can push myself and generally try and make myself into better shape for when I get older. Well, can't get much older than I am already but you know what I mean. So that's the reason why I'm doing it, purely just to push my body, see what I can make it do and challenge myself because I do believe everybody needs a challenge now and again and what's the point of doing something if it's easy to me there's just no point you may as well try something that's hard challenge yourself push yourself find what your limits are but saying that it's also remembering let me just let it pass it's also remembering that as humans we are fragile and not injure myself in the process because there's no point in doing any of this if I'm going to end up hurt and not being able to continue. So now I'm at top of this hill, I'll put the camera away for a few miles, I'll speed up my pace and hit the road again. I'm at the 11 mile mark and I'm really feeling it this morning. It isn't the easiest of runs that I've done. My legs feel really tight for some strange reason. I've done further than this before at a faster pace. I think it's just one of them days. But I'm going to keep on going and hopefully complete today's run that I've got planned and not have to abandon it but let's see how it goes because like I said I'm not going to injure myself so I'll just keep on pushing and I'll catch up with you all once I've finished the run let you know how it's gone on that's the end of today's run I was hoping to do 15 mile but I only managed to do 14 because I'm absolutely shattered today I'm not feeling it whatsoever my legs are absolutely killing me but I think that's what happens when you run when you've got a cold and I think in hindsight there was my across this word I think in hindsight I should have done a short run today and my longer run later in the week but you learn from these things so I'll see you all on the next video. just finishing off this week's video I was hoping to do a few more runs this week but I'm actually not very well with this cold that I've got I've just no energy and I'm not able to run walk or do anything which I do apologize for I'm just wanting to sleep so this week it's only been the 14 mile run which I found really hard Hopefully I'll be able to make up for that next week when I've got to, otherwise I'll be behind my schedule for my training. But I will get it done. I am going to do this marathon and all I've got left to say is look after yourselves, take care and talk later.